Yeah, I gotta try to fix this antenna thing. I don't like this, uh, this pipe in front of it. This, uh, foil cover pipe here. Definitely don't like that. So I'm gonna try to get the antenna a little higher. See if it helps. If that doesn't help, I'm gonna move the antenna back there. Kind of get it off one of those roof support joists. But I'm gonna try moving it higher right now. Yeah, I got the thing on a splitter now up in the attic where this one's the antenna. This goes to the computer room upstairs, which I'm not using anymore. And this one goes down to the master bedroom, goes outside, and it goes downstairs. So I'm going to eliminate this. This should give me a 3 dB boost, I guess, somewhere around 3 dB boost if I take that out. So I'm going to do that too. Yeah, I just wanted to mention I re remade the cable with... Um, this uh, crimp tool and the crimp connectors and uh, the finished product looks something like this here and that's better than the kind of like the push-on connectors and uh, I got this uh, crimp tool at Radio Shack it's a pretty good crimp tool because it has a compound action to it where um, I'll show you that so the way it works is compound action so it makes it easier to use to get a good crimp. And I got the uh, the crimp style here from uh, Ideal for RG6. Since my cable coming from the wall wasn't long enough to reach the antenna, I used this antenna wire and I coupled it with a with a barrel connector in between that and the new end I put on this cable. Okay, I like the positioning of the antenna now a lot better. I moved it so that this yaggy piece, I guess you call it, goes in between those uh, support rafters going across. It does not touch the wood at all. And then it's about maybe an inch and a half off the wood there on the main piece. The yaggy goes in between that beam and it's higher. The antenna is. Uh, pointing a lot higher now. It's actually a lot straighter too. So maybe this may do the trick. And you know, coupled with the um, taking the splitter out and just putting that coupler in there, see if I get any improvement in uh, signal quality downstairs. Okay, this is what we got now. It's going up to 50 it see, and see it bounced. See, that went down to 26%. But it goes as high as 56 So it's higher. It's like 10% higher on the high point. But it's dropping lower. The funny thing is it's windy outside. But it shouldn't be affecting the cabling. But I got a feeling there's something wrong outside. Yeah, maybe it's like bad connection on those coax connectors um, that are outside. So I'm going to try remaking... Uh, the connectors outside for the for the house wiring see if that helps that's really what it looks like I'm back outside and what I gotta do is try to simplify this conglomeration here because um, I gotta find out this definitely goes downstairs that's the one I just put in this one uh, I'm assuming is the, the spare room another spare room that I don't use for like TV maybe I'll disconnect that so uh, gotta give that a try I gotta actually verify that I'm actually on the right cable I'm assuming this is the antenna cable for, goes to the antenna I gotta check that out too so I'm just gonna do trial and error I'm gonna disconnect this one here see if I lose the signal if I do lose the signal downstairs to the big television then I know that is the um, antenna and not that one. Yeah, unbelievably, I guessed correctly. And this is actually a cable that goes upstairs to like the spare room over the garage. So I don't really need that. I disconnected it, checked the, checked the signal level at the television, and it's about the same. It did, it did peak up to 60, but then it goes down to about 22. So I know that's not really causing the problem of why it's bouncing around so 
this this cable here is definitely coming from the antenna so um, if you notice if you're eagle eye you notice it's a different color see I had the cable guy come out like last year and he spliced on some RG6 to um, I think this is RG59 and uh, I don't know if you could really do that I don't know if that's causing a problem but what I could try to do is remake this this connector here see if that helps okay here goes nothing <clears throat> can't can't squeeze it <clears throat> man that is that's is tough try it right-handed here goes nothing <clears throat> got it so I got to remake this one that's the uh, that was the antenna one from upstairs in the attic gonna remake it yeah, I'm pretty sure that's RG59, so I'm going to use these RG59 crimp connectors. They do have connectors that are called compression connectors. I haven't used those yet. You need a special compression tool for those. I'm more familiar with the, the crimp-on for other things, so I, I got the crimp-on ones. You just kind of strip it according to what it says here on the side here. Let me focus in a little better. Yeah, you crimp it like corn to that. Quarter inch, quarter inch, and whatever. Okay, here's the test. I, I couldn't get this on over the over the dielectric there, so it's not RG59, it's RG6. Okay, you kind of get the cable like that. Kind of like this. I'm, I'm going to, once I crimp it, I'm going to wrap this with electrical tape, kind of seal it. And then I'm going to crimp the heck out of it with my crimp tool. Okay, just get it into like the jaws of like this um, parrot kind of. Reminds me of a parrot, don't it? But you squeeze it in uh, that compound action, squeezes the heck out of it. You use the the middle one there. You squeeze you squeeze the heck out of it. I can't do it with one hand, so I got to put this down. Well, the middle one didn't work because um, just like. The uh, hole, the uh, die is too big for what it was, so I used the the smaller one here and crimped the hell out of it with the smaller one and came out kind of kind of squishy like that, but it's crimped on tight, so that's so that's what eh, where to go? That's what really matters. It's crimped on tight, but it must be the wrong connectors. I got these from Lowe's and the crimp tool I got from Radio Shack and. Radio Shack didn't have the crimp ones, so uh, go figure. But that's on tight now, so I think it should work. Okay, after remaking that one, it's still bouncing around. So, um, weird. I know it's pretty windy outside, so I don't know if something bouncing around and blocking the signal somehow, like trees or something. Okay, I remade that connector and it's still bouncing around, so that noisy here is uh, the um, construction guy working upstairs, but it's still bouncing around here, so um, I don't know, I have to go back in the attic and to um, go from square one and see if it bounces around just plugged in directly to the antenna with my small television. Okay, before I go up in the attic with this small TV again. I'm um, this is this is the cable that I just remade the connector comes from upstairs from the attic from the antenna from the attic goes into the surge suppressor goes directly into the cable that goes to the downstairs television so I disconnected all this splitter junk here and I'll see if that works okay still bounces around it's like 26 percent up to around 50 percent and so for a sanity check I gotta go back up to the attic take the small television take the RCA box and see if it still bounces around directly connected to the uh, antenna directly and it makes me wonder because it's so windy outside whether it's something like the trees are blowing in front of the front of the signal somehow maybe I could re refine the antenna pointing and see if that helps if that's the case I don't know Okay, I'm in the attic, and it's like 
Now, the other day it was um, 50, it was 64%, but let's see, it drops down. And I was watching it, and I had it drop down to, um, to 30%. See, that isn't really that bad. This is just, um, let's see, I think it was on WXIA. Let me try another station. Okay, this is a station I had yesterday, and today, this morning, it's bouncing all over. See that? So as a sanity check, see, this is connected right directly to the antenna. So either there's something wrong with this cable, but I don't think it is. I think it's because it's windy outside and the trees are blowing and it's killing the signal. Which is a real bummer because I guess it means you can't watch TV if it's windy outside. Even with an antenna in the attic. Weird. So I gotta check the connections to the antenna. Okay, this is WSB. It's bouncing down to 30 something percent, up to 55. I'm going to move the antenna, and it's a good thing it has the, the musical representation. I'm try to point this antenna a little different. It's getting better. Okay, that's the best I could get it. It's pretty good, it's 68, 69% as a high. Something to do about the wind, but it's better. So I gotta see what stations come in now. Okay, so this is the final result. I do have it better. It's still bouncing, but it's kinda going up to about 65% for max. That was down to 55. But it's not dropping as low as it was, and I'm still on the same channel. It's still pretty blowing pretty good outside, so by repointing the antenna, getting rid of the splitters that I'm not using right now, and um, remaking the connectors probably, but I think that the main thing here was repointing the antenna. And this bouncing of the signal is due to the wind, just the trees in the path of the... Uh, single and we're getting like multi-path reflections uh, changing around because it's UHF and it's just a real pain but I'm thinking I think Yuma Junk Collector had mentioned that um, probably gonna need a single booster I think a single booster would help it's not gonna cure everything but it's gonna help and uh, let's see what stations I get here <laughs> 